I'll call this part two guys. I'm on the Red Tower, also known as uh, St. Agatha's Tower, overlooking the northern part of Malta. Good to see uh, quite a few tourists have made their way up here. Unfortunately, if you don't have a car, the bus isn't going to bring you up here. A bus will take you down the main road, but there is quite a steep walk. I wouldn't want to tackle it. 28 degree sunlight, it feels like 35 for me today up here. Although there is a beautiful breeze. Now, this is just one of the many, many towers and many gems up here. For us, it's always a, an event just to hop in the car at a reasonable hour. Uh, drive 45, 50 minutes, whatever you may. But depending on where you are, we're down south, of course. Now, there's a red tower, we're on it. Just up there, there is the... Um, Right on the point of Maliha, there is a beautiful chapel dedicated to Maria, uh, Mary the Madonna. The story goes, a, a man lost his boat there uh, in a big storm. It was gone for all accounts. It was a big, big storm. And he vowed that if she saved him, he would build a, a chapel right at the end of the cliff. And that's what he did. And it's there for everyone to see. It's open and there's a little statue of the Madonna, of the uh, Mother Mary. Um, so whether you're of the faith or not, it's just really nice to see this stuff. There's also, of course, just up the road there as well, in the same area, the Coral Lagoon. And if you blink, you'll miss it, you'll fall in it. It's just a cliff. And you're walking along this cliff and all of a sudden the ground just gives way and there's a big hole. You wouldn't want to be there at night, but there's signs and everything. And you go there and take some photos. You could jump in if you're going, I wouldn't. The only outlet is to the sea, and it's really got to pick your days there to go swimming or canoeing. But we'll probably head there after this. Of course, then in Maliha proper, um, there is a sanctuary, there is the uh, church, the uh, beautiful Sea View Cafe, there is the underground shelters, all of that. So that's uh, further around here, sort of up, up that way in the proper area of Maliha. So I'll show you it from this angle. Um, so that's the area there I'm talking about. And you can see the church just dead ahead. That might help. That's Adira Bay, Maliha. We drove through there. So the route we were brought on, Google Maps, was just where you see all that traffic up there. We came from the north. We ended up on that road, a bit of winding, we came down that road, we came out just near the DB Hotel. Over there, we turned left, came along the beach. Adira Bay is looking beautiful, there was plenty of car parking actually along the beach today. So you can tell everyone's back at school and back at work. Um, and then there is, as I said, this turn left and you come up the road to the Red Tower here. There is a sign that says Il Tori Ahmar. Torri Ahmar, Torri meaning tower, Ahmar meaning red. It helps if you get familiar with some of these terms, particularly Torri, tower, because there's so many of them. And some of the colours, Ahmar being red, Abiyat being white. Um, just beautiful. Now, we're pretty much at the most northern part here of Malta. And then in the distance here behind this turret, you can see. Uh, Camino and Gozo. So here in front of me now is the Gozo Ferry Terminal, Trukawa. To the left of that is Magnificent Paradise Bay, just where that yacht is, where I've been twice or three times. Brought you stuff from there. There's a luxury motor yacht there sitting just outside uh, the Blue Lagoon at Camino. And then just past that is Gozo, I can see the Mjara Harbour dead ahead. I can see Tapino Sanctuary up there. Uh, you probably can't see it, but I can see it. Um, and then just around the coast, the Sanat Cliffs. I'll show you those from here. Beautiful. Perfect day to be doing this, it wouldn't want to be any hotter. So there's a lovely Tachanch Cliffs and all that up there, Gozo. As I said, a region where you can just drive around, stop, explore, 
spend a few euro on drinks and ice creams, stop for lunch somewhere. Magnificent. That's Paradise Bay down there. I can see it. I can't see the beach, but I can see the bay. Ferry's taken off. What a wonderful part of Malta. Now, you can of course go into Benaliha proper. Um, the village itself, lots, lots of shops and outlets, and uh, there's a wonderful uh, liquor place there called Marvin's, who have got some of the rarest collectibles that you'll find on the island. We were there in, uh, in April. Mate, if you're watching, I know you follow. I might come and say hello a bit later, I've got time. Haven't been there yet this trip. We make a lot of friends, yeah, just, just travelling and people following us, me following them, and they keep in touch and catch up now and then. It's very nice. Uh, this tower is a real gem. This is heritage listed. Uh, one of the towers. It's got a direct. Uh, they used to signal to Valletta from here. Apparently, so from here, obviously via the other towers. And you can always see a tower along the coast, no matter where you are. From one tower to the next, there's always a tower in view, and that's how they signal one another. It's actually good to see a bunch of people up here today, paying their two euro fifty. It all comes in handy to keep these sites um, maintained in good order, which they are. It's another real credit to Heritage Malta. They've even done the road coming up here. This used to be a <laughs> used to be a goat track. Um, first time I come up here, I never forget it. It's very nice and smooth now. It's good to see a breeze picking up. Oh, it feels so good. Guys, I'm going to say goodbye for now. I hope you've enjoyed these couple of videos and I'll talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day.